Welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a very long 20 minutes since the last stream, but we are ready to get moving forward on some more of Alan's story, which I think is supposed to be the last section of his. I could be wrong, though. Either way, we're going to get this going. I'm going to skip the preamble, uh, but I just want to make it clear for anyone who um, is in chat that wasn't in the last one, no spoilers for anything, um, no fake spoilers, no hints of that stuff unless i specifically ask for it with our keyword our safe word which is pineapple don't think too much into that um but i will be talking about every game in the franchise including control max Payne, quantum break even death rally let's get going hold on let me just adjust my microphone real quick okay Let's do it. What up, everybody? What up, Argonic? What up, generally? Yes, bamboozler, it is movie time. Okay, let's see what we got. So, we do have some stuff over here that we have not picked up yet. I do not know how to get over to it. Actually, that's the bathroom, isn't it? 
Hold on. In a poem he told us, he once mistook an ocean for a lake. He spent wandering the shadows under the dark ocean, forever searching for a way to light of his love. Sorry, I have to read this really fast. Nightless Night, a Thomas Zane movie. Alex Casey is the detective. Barbara Jagger is the writer's widow. Ilmare Huatara is the murderer. Ati is the janitor. Of course he is. Talamnis, yep. Tom Zane is the writer. Alan Wake. Oh, Tom's playing Alan Wake in the film. Okay. That makes sense with why they look the same. All lights off in the theater. Everyone turn your phones off. Goes into the spiral door, of course. I don't know if you want to go through that door. Oh, sorry. That sign said. <laughs> oh, hi there, gentlemen. Me too, Jules. It's too many people light up flares in the movie theater. No traveler, you have to manually put them on. Onko täällä ketään? Ahti! Ahti. <laughs> Sanovat, se joka varjo on tyytyy, valon ihmeestä That is very true. <laughs> It's 
So this is supposed to be a Barbara Jagger. Oh God, that's creepy. Or played by Barbara Jagger, I should say. Honestly, Traveler, I think the references to Satana in uh, finishes like us saying, like, God damn it, or something like that. Not meant to be mean more than that. Get yourself ready. 5v1, let's go. I will to put us in the pit. It will be too rapid. Leika ta parta! Leika ta pojata parta! What are we watching? <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll step back. Is that a better seat in the house? Miksi palasit? Kukero lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Are you sure? Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talomiehen apulaisen. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi. Yön selkää. Vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen, kun sinä lähdit. Okay. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. What the hell? I mean, you've had a job there since the 64. Sudden stop. Sour taste of the kiss that killed me. You remember that? The nightless night. Yeah, it sounds like a poison.
Oh, dude, yeah, good luck breaking down this movie. Jesus. Oh, boy. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna be playing through this game like two or three times before we even start writing up content for this. You're in a finished film, Max. Sanotaan, että alleen kurvotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Nama. Kannattaa varoa sitä alleen mustaa leskeä. En no sotaa. Taisit olla vähän heikkona hänen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. I'm gonna have to do several watch throughs of this before I make any comments publicly about my thoughts on it. I hope that Mati wins another BAFTA for this. Dude, he's just incredible. <laughs> I hope he didn't just puke out a baby. Oh, is that one of the dolls? Is that one of the dolls from the nursery rhymes? Oh, hold on. Maybe I saw that wrong. God, more UFOs! And Zane is reborn. Or Alan is reborn. W w whatever, because this is Zane playing Alan. Is this what Scratch's original intention was for the ending of the Return Manuscript? With using the cult to essentially resurrect himself? 
into the real world. Real world. But he could always tra travel back and forth. That was kind of the point. It's a spiral. Ah! It's not a lake, it's an ocean, it's not a loop, it's a spiral. It just means that every time you pass it, you're heading somewhere. You're still moving forward. Like many art films, 90% of the budget was drugs. <laughs> That's so true! Sorry, uh, so if some guys were weirded out by my comment, um, if anyone hasn't seen the uh, 1981 film uh, Possession with Sam Neill in it, you'll know what I'm talking about when I made that comment. And if anyone hasn't seen it, I recommend never seeing it. <laughs> Lopa. Lopu is the end. Okay. Okay, time to turn all of this off now. No more subtitles. Oh, dear. I'm curious if this is part of Scratch's original intention for the plot. You know what I'm talking about then, Zachary, if you know Possession. That movie is absolutely bonkers. My statue in the plaza has changed to Alice's. Parliament Tower was condemned. Spoiler game! It makes more sense once you reach the end of the game. Yeah, that's why I'm not really passing any comments on interpretive stuff yet until I have the full story. Uh, well, we have a lot, uh, Alan, to finish. Like, uh, we still have several chapters of Saga story to do. Okay. Okay, we have a thing right there. Yes, Alan Wake 2 is full of spoilers for Alan Wake 1. That is 100% accurate. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, there it is. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. Hmm. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Yeah, so at this point, yeah, we have an infinite amount of stories that Alex Casey can't partake in. Ooh. Well, Greyhound, the question is, is... 
was it only ever the ver the version of the film we saw in the dark place? Because we still have no confirmation that a Thomas Zane ever existed oh, that shit. actually made this. Personal increases damage dealt to enemies at close proximity by 10%? Oh my god, yes. Hey there, Alan. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, here's some funds from the FEC to continue your investigations in the new AWE here at Bright Falls. Thank you so much. I'll make sure they are put to good use. And uh, let the FBC know that my um, resume is online if they're interested. Flare gun ammo. Let's go put some stuff away and then load up some more. I mean, if they need someone to head up their new investigations department, I am always ready to be hired. I had bezeled the funds. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the FBC would be a little perturbed with me if I uh, they caught me embezzling their funds. Dude, I would freaking have a beer with a reach. He probably has some crazy stories. All right. It's tech. Well, technically, the FBC doesn't have unlimited funds. It's just they're part of the U.S. government's black budget, so that no one really knows where the money goes. Technically, taxpayer money funds the FBC but they just keep their amounts below a certain threshold and no one questions what they're using the money for. Where's the TV, though? I saw something pop up on the TV, but I can't find it. Where? Oh, gosh. And I have no clue what... The dark place wants to drop me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. No, I've already done that. Okay, so which episode just freaking... It was just the film. Oh, okay. You mean it gave me all of the Yotunio the Nightless Night episodes? Can money be taken? No. It needs to be a living thing. So it just popped up for my TV, but whatever. I have not watched Dark, but I have been told it's amazing. Okay, let's see what we got here. I think this is the point in the story where I will... Oh, wait. We got some stuff over here. We got some echoes. Somewhere. 
I think this is the point in the story where I will go ahead and request intel on the final Tim Breaker section. Because everyone keeps telling me I'm going to miss it. Yeah, animals we've seen become semi-taken. I mean, the wolves in this game are kind of that. Unless... Hold on. Yeah, the bird, the ravens, so to speak, yeah. It's very nearby, okay. Because I remember there was a door somewhere around here. get inside there. Don't attack me, bro. Go away. Side there, so I have to access it from a different direction. And the question, like, since we're talking about um, what you were talking about with platonic solids, what does it have to do with the Sterling AWE? Because the Sterling AWE literally is a rock in the form of one of those platonic solids. So light the door up, is that what you're saying? Hey yo, Sib, how you doing? You like this? So that's that. And there we go. So I was doing what I was supposed to do, I just gave up before I did it. The flashlight had done its job. Okay. Yeah, so I just said, oh, there's nothing I can do before I actually did it. Never mind. And there he is. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey. You're Alan this time, right? Just making sure. It's me, Tim. You ran into Scratch, didn't you? My double. Well, it's hard to say, but he sure looked like you. It was weird because I heard that you got out of this place. No. I guess that was just a rumor. Anyway, I'm just doing my thing, still looking for door. I've got a new theory on that front. What was my devil doing? Did he have a manuscript with him? I need to know. But he didn't have anything. No, no, he had a cocktail, and he was smoking. He wasn't like you said he'd be. Very, very touchy-feely. Zane, then. He wore leather pants. You know, he was actually looking for you. He asked the same question about the manuscript. And then he asked if I was going to a costume party and if he could come. Like, I told him this wasn't a costume, and he ran off. I guess he doesn't like cops. That wasn't Scratch. 
<laughs> it's hard to explain. <laughs> What's this new theory? It's a lot, so buckle up. I'm ready. You have your doubles, and I keep dreaming about other versions of me, right? Now this makes me think there must be other realities besides ours. But ours is connected to the rest of them. Dor might even be a part of the reason why. He seems to be the only constant, but what does he want? What's he planning? Sorry. <laughs> You've got your own problems. I've already... Sometimes I think I'm going crazy trying to make sense of this. No, you're good. You know, maybe this whole thing is much bigger than what we're able to see. Or, everything I just said is bullshit. <laughs> Who knows? And this is the quote-unquote who knows until Microsoft and Remedy finally allow them to get the IPs back. Oh. Yep, they're confirming Quantum Break and all the other franchises. The Remedyverse. Oh my god. So you want to go, you guys want to know something really funny? Which I think is compl I, I think it's hysterical. So before AWE came out, and um, I think even before Control came out, when I was first getting started on this channel, I've only technically ever had one troll that would make different accounts just to talk smack in the comments. But what he was talking smack about, funnily enough, was that I had the opinion that the Remedy Verse was a thing, that all the games were connected. And he just couldn't handle it and just kept trolling my comment section. And I'm just sitting here like, if I could find that guy again, I'd be like, Hey, you. Buddy. Check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, but that's before we got all the confirmations. And slowly but surely, we're getting more and more confirmations. Dreams of different versions, parallel universes, multiverses. We are connected because of something that happened to us somewhere else. Shockwaves echo across worlds. If I die, will I wake up as another version? Is he killing versions of me? Dude, you, you remember that yellow bat? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? By the way, everyone give a huge freaking shout out to yellow bat over here. He is absolutely incredible. This is my editor who all of my video essays he is the one who makes them actually watchable. So, <laughs> raise a glass over here, buddy. Thank you. Oh, gosh. But, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Remedy verse freaking confirmed. That's interesting. He's going around to kill other versions of him. Which would beg the question, because the end of Quantum Break concluded with the, uh, the choice of whether Jack was going to join uh, Monarch Solutions with Martin Hatch or if he was going to reject Hatch's offer and walk away. Now, we know the whole idea of shifters in that game is that they kind of occupy multiple... They, like, infinite amounts of versions of themselves. In Hatch, for example, we see him get killed twice and he keeps coming back because essentially they... Other versions of them backfill into the original one and the only way to kill a shifter is to destroy all versions of them. And it's curious if Hatch, if uh, Jack rejected Monarch's offer and Hatch went on a quote-unquote interdimensional killing spree to try to wipe out every version of Jack Joyce. One of them right now being Tim Breaker. And that's the plot line. Again, this seems to be like they're setting this up just in case they're allowed to pull off Quantum Break 2. And that's going to be the freaking... That's going to be the, the freaking plot line right there. Because if you remember correctly, the quote-unquote end of time that occurred within that game wasn't the end of time that Paul Serene and Beth Wilder experienced. That was just a fracture that led to a different zero point that was stopped, but the real end of time, which was supposed to be in 2020, I believe, was something completely unrelated. Oh, dude, if we can get the Quantum Break 2, that's freaking incredible. You guys, like, because we did a, um... We absolutely did a whole video on the Alan Wake whiteboard that was in Quantum Break. We are 100% going to be doing that for this, too. 100% going to be doing that for this whiteboard as well. 
the dark place. Let's go find ourselves a safe spot and then figure out what we're gonna do. So go ahead and let me know, are we able to finish up Alan's part in this chapter? Because I think this is supposed to be Alan's last section. Oh dude, I can handle them. Trust me, I can handle them. Seriously, this entire game, in terms of the lore they're bringing out, is just a love letter to all the fans who have become conspiracy theorists as a result of this. They're doing the same thing they did with Alan Wake in the Quantum Breaks Return teaser. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Can you at least catch me up on the stream? Yeah, Jack, not much is really... Um, mostly we ran to the last Tim Breaker. We watched a film by quote-unquote Thomas Sane, where oh, it was it was, it was was a thing. It, it was definitely a thing. I don't know what to say about it just yet. Well, a typo might just be a typo. The only new things I saw on that was um, the bottom left. Everything else was stuff we'd seen before. That's perfectly fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get out there then. Because I don't think there's anything more. I honestly, I think these two echoes are, um, it's bugs. Because I think I already got those echoes. Unless the echoes haven't shown up yet. Oh no, there is one here. I lied. I lied. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Okay, I lied. There is. We can still get those. And there's one more over here somewhere. Last try. Could you could Dor be the character played by Lancer? Yes, no, 100%. Sid, um, Mr. Dor is 100% Martin Hatch, another version of Martin Hatch. And this role is almost like the role of Mr. Dor basically would probably would have still gone to Lance Reddick if uh, he did not pass away. There's three new things. Okay, we'll we'll take a look once I finish out these echoes. Because I'm pretty sure I read everything on it, Balthazar, but I'll double check. Where is it? Okay, so it's going to be slightly to my left. It's supposed to be somewhere. Oh, <laughs> right there. God made us in his image. <laughs> Just like us, he is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. Having made it in heaven, he doesn't want us there, dirtying up all that nice white upholstery. And he doesn't want to reach down to help us. He gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling, hurting, killing. Dying, screwing it up again and again, lazily stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. Oh, you are not happy with your author, are you? Oh, do yeah. Like I first, like, really enough, I first saw Lance Reddick work in um, Lost. When he played Matthew Abaddon, and then later in Fringe as uh, Broyles. He's talking about who he perceives to be his creator, which is the author of his story. 
just binge watched the streams, Jinx. Well, welcome in live. How you doing? All right, I'll double check the board, but I'm pretty sure we saw it all. Yeah, because we saw that. The door is a gatekeeper. Yep, we saw that. Dream place. Yep, redhead woman. Yep. Morgue. We saw everything about the polyhedrons, which, oh my god, if uh, yellow bat, if you're still here, um, Sterling AWE is all I can say. Because they're referring to the pyramid, which may be related to the board. We have a cube, no clue. We have an octahedron, which was seen by the bird watchers above Cauldron Lake. And this right here, the dodecahedron, is the shape of the Sterling AWE rock, which is also related to the willow AWE. And then this is something completely different as well. Geometry. Yep, already read that. Vessel, shapes, and maps, codified parallel rails, also double triangles. Yeah, so all we read all of this. This was the only new piece that uh, came in. Master of many words. Yeah, Sterling. And it's also the shape, weirdly enough, the uh, CFR in Quantum Break is also a dodecahedron. Which is a whole other line of thing we can discuss, but oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, Tim Breaker and Jack, it's the same actor. It's not just the same voice actor, but it's the same uh, mocap and facial actor as well. So, I did some research, and I think the Hedron is called a, uh, what is it, a, Benca a Pentacus Iso... Oh, Jesus, I'm going to have to move closer. A Pentacus Icosidodecahedron. Yeah. Like, I, I get the... I'm just going to take a moment here to pause real quick. Like, Ordak, I, I get that you're not a fan of the game, but you don't need a troll. If you're not interested, just that's fine. Feel free to click off. You don't have to watch. <laughs> we absolutely adore the Remedy Verse here on this channel, and nothing will ever change that. So we'll just... Moving on. And this is the last thing I'm going to say on that note. Moving onwards. Okay. So, I don't know. Is there anything else I need to do before I go back up to... Is there anything else I need to worry about before we head in? Um, I'm going to find a safe room real quick and then poke my head through the map, but I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything on the map as well. In terms of collectibles and all that other fun stuff. Get a little bit of health. And there's our safe room. Go ahead and load up, see what we got here. Um, it feels like we kind of are nice and loaded up. I got plenty of health, got some painkillers, got plenty of flare gun ammo. I think we're good. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the fact that Tim mentions that deep to the CFR connection. Which also, another connection to the CFR is the... Um, one of the outfits Jesse has in the AWE DLC that has the same color scheme as the CFR. Let me pull up some pictures real quick to show you guys. Quantum Break Chronon Field Regulator. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Let's 
CFR. Do, 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 do. Countermeasure. There's the picture there. And with that, let's go find Jesse's Control A D O C new outfit. All right, let's switch over real quick. So right here is the CFR. Again, it's a dodecahedron as we've been seeing with all that stuff. And then look at the coloring of the oranges and the grays. And this right here is Jesse's outfit in the AW DLC, which has the exact same color scheme as well. And the angular aspects of it, which is just kind of weird. Anyways, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's grab some more flare guns just in case. Yotun Yo movie night and discussion went. Oh, dude, we already like yeah, we watched that video, the um, movie, and it's really cool to see Sam acting. Like, it's just really cool to see his involvement in this. All right, um, Ma, just go ahead and ban him. Just go ahead and ban him. It's not even worth it at this point. ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. My memorial statue had been replaced by a statue of Alice. The thought sickened me. Her life threatened by Scratch. I had to hurry. I just wanted to show the world what I see. That not that what she mentioned in American Nightmare about the reason she made the uh, Sunshine show? The, the, the film Sunshine? To show the world what she sees when she looks at Alan? either huh you're me me i don't understand there's a lot i don't understand you're just a projection dude a dark place operates in loops time is a story i'm calling you from a different point in that story from the future i'm never getting out of here am i yes you will and no you won't and that is by your own choice what does that mean I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? <laughs> How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. For it's each the same draft. writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. I kind of get where they're going to be going then. Is a version will remain behind and a version will get out. Actually, let's go get some more flares. We're running low. Best line of the game. What? I'm at my own Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Oh, actually, I'm running low on ammo right now, so I gotta. 
gotta start chilling out. Okay, there's the safe room over there. I'm just gonna try to bypass these guys for a little bit because I am running low. Okay, let's get some more flares. I'm gonna start using some more flare gun and some more grenades. All right, let's do this. So Yellow Bat, when we were talking about the multiple Allen theory, <laughs> this entire game just confirms it at this point. Documentary Sunshine is going to show up again in this uh, story. box is way too overflowed. Okay, well, I guess let's go to the lighthouse then. I'm, I'm gonna have to retitle the uh, name of the episode. Oh yeah, if you remember, I was flipping out when you were talking about the trailers already gave you enough breadcrumbs to confirm it. Exactly! The sad thing is, is like, the small bit of the trailer that I saw um, that you put into the music video that we did was enough for me to go, oh yeah, confirmation. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I guess we're going to continue on and do Saga's chapter here. And, but first things first, we're going to a lighthouse. I still want to know what's going on with room 103. It's driving me crazy. I still want to know what's happening there. Okay, nothing in here. All right, so we've got a manuscript over here, then we're gonna head over to Watery. Well, Actually, we better be heading out. Nothing left for us here anymore. Nope. Uh, agreed. Who knows, maybe she'll come and haunt us sometime. I hope so. You want to know what? I want to go see that lady over in the park. Because she has been one of the most interesting characters we're not getting in information on. Who is that lady? Which I think is actually funny, uh, Yellow Bat, like, um... Because I called that that wasn't the real Alan since the second he came out. But the simple fact that he's wearing the flannel means it's the... He's trying to mimic the Alan from American Nightmare. But instead of being a red and white flannel, it was like a black and white flannel. The lady's not here. I want to know who that lady is. She's just, like, so intriguing to me. Oh my god, listen to that. It's oh, it's original OST. Uh, you know, I really like the diner at night. It's so quiet and peaceful. At least, usually. I know what you mean. That's, um... What's the name of this song? It's from the original Alan Wake's OST. It's just a remix of it. It's the song that plays when we have, like, flashbacks, if I remember correctly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I looked at the diner music. I saw we got a bunch of old god stuff on there. All right, let's do this. It's Alice's theme, gotcha. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskala knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, uh. they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Okay, so the alteration here is that they read how Wake stopped it. So they basically, Alan's actually responsible for them performing this ritual since he scratched out the original manuscript here hey, yeah what's up X? Uh, did you get the most uh chilling chills like i did when you were walking down the dark hallway at the back of the diner at the beginning dude the second i walked into there i'm like this this so much has happened in this diner it's not even funny so much has happened the song playing is called the clicker okay thank you dude uh jules i don't think you can open that one up that the third one inside the diner i don't think it's possible all right let's head over to watery real quick and i think we continue the story by going into the jail cell and um, opening it up well technically do it yeah anyone can become taken i mean even the good guys can turn to taken so it's Shit happens. That's all I gotta say on that. Yeah, they don't discriminate. Alright, well, it's very dark in here. Let's go poke our head around, see if there's anything. Now, the sheriff's station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime writer, you know, the one who disappeared in Bright Falls years ago. And then they find him, and boom, all hell breaks loose. Big city folk, the FBI, famous writers. Ugh, they're all bad luck if you ask me. Yeah, I fully agree. Fuck them all. <laughs> um, no, Yellowbat, unfortunately I will not be able to finish the game today. I have to run in a couple hours. I have my mom's birthday um, dinner. So I'm trying to see if I can finish up this chapter with Saga real fast. Or I might just say go to the lighthouse and then end the stream there and then continue her story in the next one. So the lighthouse is right ahead of us. I'm not sure. It depends on how long this one is. Like, I know you told me that the from here on forward, it kind of, the episodes play out like a movie, so it's good to do them all in a row. But I don't, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to really work. Only because after today, I'll be doing one chapter a day after work. I mean, I can't do them consecutively unless we all want to wait until next weekend to do them all in a row, but I don't think anyone wants that, and frankly, I don't want to do that. I want to play finish the game as soon as I can. So, yeah, unfortunately, we will have to break up everything. Okay. Let's go check out the lighthouse. Which is a very, a place very unique. I wouldn't say unique, but very special symbolically to Alan. He likes lighthouses. Oh yes, give me all the arrows. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. Is 
like it's giving us one last stash before we move on. This has got to be an Ilmo idea. Mirrors draw light from the main light thing. Generators. Satellite dish, shadow monsters, light ray 3000. Oh my god, that actually is brilliant! Turn the lighthouse into something that can kill the Taken. This actually is pretty brilliant. He's basically creating a giant ass light freaking flashlight on top of the lighthouse. I mean, dude, I do the same thing. I mean, like in the Rider DLC, the lighthouse was is the last set piece, and it was awesome seeing it just destroy all the Taken that were coming after you. Dude, I want that. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's a freaking genius. All right. We got some manuscripts. They're too old to fight monsters. The torch bears are done. We need something new. Ilmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They've been drinking and smoking all night. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Ilmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. The strange seal with an upside down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. Deal with us our way. We need an army of our own. Yako smiled. He loved to watch his brother come up with his ideas. Ilmo's gaze swam. It was seeing double. The pyramid on the folder was a spruce tree. A tree, he thought. A fucking tree. It was a sign. We'll make the woods scary again. So fucking scary, no one will set foot in them at night. That's how we'll keep people safe. We'll be a legend. We are the cult of the tree, and we watch in the night. We're gonna need scary masks. Energized, Yako chugged a bottle of Ama beer in one go. Interesting that the only phrase he scratched out was replaced with, we need an army of our own. As if that, that phrase by itself made the alteration. All right, so we got a lot of... Um, these to go through. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Ilmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. Okay, so technically confirmed that 2013, which is the same time that the Cult of the Word investigation out in New York occurred. Oh my gosh. So you guys are saying like, oh yeah, use the lighthouse as a weapon in Alan Wake 3. Okay, guys, I got an idea. Alan Wake tower defense game using a lighthouse. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I love it. I love tower defense games. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. We totally need to do that. And like the rocket launches would be the flare guns and whatever. Hey there, PDX. Thank you so much, dude. I'm glad you enjoy them. No, Ty. So they're not a cult from the oldest house. They just use the term cult to get people to stay out of the woods so they won't get uh, harmed. If the cult is killing Taken... Then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Yeah, I could have told you that at the beginning of the game. That's literally what I said at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> all right, Alan. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. 
Maybe he always was. I like that. Using the wrong tense, meaning his perception of time. You want to know what actually would solve this entire problem of his being unable to understand or how to write the tense properly? Get the Lutesh twins on this. Send the Lutesh twins to the dark place. Work with Alan on writing how time works. Oh yeah, so they said the torchbearers were there before the cult was. Did we get confirmation on that? was pretending to be awake manipulating me what does he want from me no i'm in control here it's my mind place Ooh. he's powerful yes too he is. powerful just his presence here makes me feel sick like a wave of terror through my head i feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker I love that he tried to take over. She's like, no, fuck on off. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's do some work here. Deduction available. Okay, Wig is trapped in the dark place. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Okay, that would make sense. That's kind of what I semi-thought to you about, that the Torchbearers are the official name for the Night Springs group. Because I always just referred to them as the Night Springs group. I don't think it was ever mentioned in-game that that's what they were, but that makes sense. Bioshock was always part of the Remedy Verse Confirmed. Oh, dear. <clears throat> I love how she goes, <clears throat> are you an idiot? <clears throat> you dumb. Keep trying. Okay. So we already finished up the Brightfall Station section. Real versus fiction. Okay, there's nothing we can do there. Cult of the tree. Okay, hold on. I gotta zoom out. Oh god, stop. Okay, let me zoom out so I can actually read the stuff on here. Okay, uh, Imlo Nightingale is already taken. Uh, ritual would have stop is interrupted. Writing part of ritual, Nightingale become a monster. Yep. FBC filed linking weight to activity. Who's involved, maybe? No. Yep. Uh, Cult of the tree targeted people already corrupted by Dark Prison's goals to protect the community. Yep. I mean, I thought that'd be called goal. It was. Okay. That's what I tried first. Okay, never mind. The cult of the tree is just the Costella brothers' slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. Yep. I mean, they they did what they could. You can't... I. Yeah, yeah. He's never heard of Scratch. Uh. Okay, at least that's done. I just want to see it change right here. That's done. So there's still more information, but we haven't gotten it all done yet. There's still some more Inamil and Jocko stuff, which I probably missed. And there's probably more Odin stuff that I missed, but you know what? The case is done, so it's all good. The story. Oh, 
The light and dark presence. Yep. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Hmm. Very true. And I still can't do fact and fiction, I presume. Yeah, no. All right, we're done. We're back. You think those are bugs? I mean, there might be some stuff that I just missed while we were running around, which is perfectly fine. Alrighty, so we've got another uh, manuscript in here, too. Ilmo Koskal had jolted awake from a nightmare. He was drenched in sweat. In the dream, he'd been covered in blood, lethally murdering people, his friends. When his twin brother had tried to talk sense into him, he had murdered Yako as well. Ilmo slammed his fist into his temple so hard it hurt. The dream made him feel sick. The dark force of the lake was growing stronger. It was trying to make Ilmo and Yako something they were not. Trying to turn them into Ilmari and Yakopi Huatari from the early days of Watery. Ah. But they were the Koskala brothers. Their mother had not raised them to become murderers. They had backbone. They had honor. They had finished Zisu. Something bad was coming. The hidden device they had hooked to the FBC station had been intercepting alarms like crazy the past few days. Ilmo would make sure his cult was ready for war. Out in the night, the story seeking to give birth to an overlap in Watery drifted on, looking for another pair of men more prone to corruption. And that's when it went to Thornton and Mulligan. That's actually, I, I kind of really enjoy this one, because this one actually is weirdly enough all scratch. Alan did not edit this one whatsoever. Because we made comments that the uh, Hotari brothers, which were the serial killers back in the day, had the same, like, very similar first names as Ilmo and Jaco. Very similar first names, almost identical. And I was making the comparison between the two, but it looks like... Scratch was attempting to do the same to turn them into those serial killers, but their inner spirit was too much for the darkness to corrupt them, so instead it said screw it and went to Th Thornton Mulligan. Sisu, yep. Exactly. Nordic people versus darkness? No. You gotta get them. Backwoods Hicks. I'm joking, of course, but you know what I mean. It, it's interesting, though. So, um, our lime. Essentially, what we got confirmation of is that this original manuscript was actually written by Scratch. So everything that's here that's typed up is Scratch. But anything that's scribbled out and then written with, uh, with pencil and pen in the corner, that's Alan trying to rewrite the story. So we can tell who wrote what in this entire thing. And one of these days I'm going to go through and do a deep analysis of all the changes here. But, yeah. Willpower trumps all. You mean, you gotta give it to them. Like, even though, yeah, the uh, Koskolov brothers are working off of flawed information, you still gotta give it to them. I mean, it takes something to resist the story trying to corrupt them. And take them. And make them take them. Jeez. All right, let's run away before something finds us. Oh, 100% can you, idiot. I mean, like, you could argue that for 13 years, the stories, like, the Dark Place has been trying to take him. Still hasn't happened yet. Oh, jeez. Uh, yes, Alan, my... So, yeah, the scratched up parts are legible. And um, when you play... When you do the audio readback, when you have Matthew's voice reading it out, they flat out... Like, they'll read Alan's version of the story, not Scratch's version of the story.
No, Damien, the pen isn't an OMP. It was never... That's not a thing. It's... I think it's a misconception of people who played Control before experiencing Alan Wake is that it's the typewriter that's causing all this to happen. No, it's the dark place. It's the threshold itself that causes this to happen. The, the typewriter was just the medium that Alan used to write. It's just a tool. So, is everyone all right down there in Bright Falls? I just don't know. There's a lot of good folk in that town. A lot of friendly folk. And it used to be such a nice, quiet place, too. Like watery before certain people came to town. Okay, we're heading back into Bright Falls now. Oh, I think I just went to Cauldron Lake instead. My bad! Whoops! Wait, Jack, why are we doing a NordVPN advertisement in chat? What is going on? Did you all get taken? <laughs> What's happening here? Yeah, one. Um, it's, yeah, it, it sounds like grit. It's our like. It sounds like Sisu is our version of grit, or the finished version of grit. Yeah, exactly, Danvo. So the FPC doesn't say the clicker is an OOP because they haven't, they don't have it in their possession. They haven't been able to examine and test it and confirm and replicate the experiment with it. They just presume it's an OOP. Which, let's be honest, I think we can all presume it, but the problem is the definition of an OOP means it has a link to the astral plane and the board. Now, whoever uses the clicker isn't going through a board ritual. To be able be to heading. gain access to its power. Nothing left for us here. So, like, by definition, it does not meet the criteria of an OOP. According to the Bureau's criteria. That being said, I don't think that all OOPs need to be connected to the board. I think the board would like us to believe that you have to go through them in order to gain power to it. But you don't, I don't think you really do. Anyways. Old gods of NordVPN. Gee, what is going on? If you guys keep talking about NordVPN, I might as well call them and ask for a sponsorship or something. God. <laughs> By the way, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I do not ever intend to take sponsorships for the channel. Just because, like, when I'm doing our lectures, it just feels really weird to randomly throw in a, an advertisement in the middle of it. It just takes the flow out. It makes me feel dirty. Hashtag Team Former. I'm with you on that. I, just, I don't even know if we can say we're on Team Former either. Because we don't know what the deal is with the Former. So, one, so the whole idea with OOPs is that they're items that the board has a link to, and in order to gain power over that item, for example, like, um, like the floppy disk, it... So the floppy disk by itself does not do anything. Well, it, it throws things around telekinetically, but that's besides the point. But when you touch it, you are then sent to the astral plane and do a board ritual, which then allows Jesse to gain control over the power the floppy disk possesses, which is telekinesis. So the board basically has this whole ritual showing that, oh, Jesse, by using us, you can now do telekinesis. With the TV set, now you can fly. With the with this home safe, now you can use shield. But um, Emily Pope has a paper which basically poses the hypothesis that maybe it's actually the board isn't necessary, but the board wants us to think they're necessary. You two okay? You all right? All right, is. Okay, so I just gotta say this because I think it's really freaking cool. 
but no joke, I like that they're making the comparison between trickster entities and mythology and UFOs. Coming from someone, my, my dad is a huge uh, ufologist. Like, he, he researches UFO uh, phenomenon all the time. So, growing up, it's just really cool to see that here and someone's studying it. Because <laughs> I was raised around that stuff. Where did Ilma go? Okay, let's go downstairs because we do have some um, stuff we can possibly collect down there. I mean, there's a lot of containers. And if we can't open the containers, that just means we have to come back down here later for the story. Word rituals. I th uh, I'm sorry, just reading here. I think the belief that going through the board ritual is linking to a person of the object of power helps the person to take control of it. It's all in the way you think, as long as you th we think it's necessary. It is. That's also very true. But then there's also the secondary part of it, where could we have done this ourselves the entire time without the need for it? But we believe we need to go through that, so we do. Like, I could probably phrase that better if I stopped and wrote it down, but anyways. I mean, so much of control is all about the power of collective belief, so... It's... yeah. Let's go with that. So my nature is genetic, yes. <laughs> yes, 100%. <laughs> All right, guys, so question, how much uh, story do we have if I go into here and continue on with the plot before the end of the chapter? I just want to make sure, because I got to get running in like two and a half hours. I'm technically okay with ending this one off here, but if we can finish the end of the chapter, I prefer that. You were the better Koska, much better than me. Is he in here? in the bathroom. From here on, fourth chapters are 30 to 40 minutes each. Well, I've already, as real, I've already gotten all the collectibles. As far as I'm aware, we've already done our full collectible stream, so there's nothing else to get right now. <clears throat> Where is Ilma? I don't see him. I hear him talking, but I don't see him. No, he's not. Ilma's not here. Hearing his voice, but he's missing. And that's kind of scary. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time, he turned hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. I'm actually really curious about this one because we already see a Dr. Campbell and now we have an Agent Young, even though it's spelled differently. Jung. I swear to God, if they're trying to make a Carl Jung reference by calling him Jung, that's funny as hell. I mean, do you guys think I can wrap this whole thing up in two and a half hours? Because if so, uh, we'll uh, kind of like 
cancel this one, the stream here, start up a new one in 10 minutes, and then just like rush our way through it. Like, if you guys think we can in two and a half hours, knowing my pace, because remember, I take things slow. You think we can pull it off? Okay. All right, so what's going to happen right now? Okay, so what's going to happen right now is we're going to close off this stream. Hold on, let me check in here. There's stuff to read. There's a lot of containers. Conversation, new choices. Hold on. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs on this screen. Yeah, it's not a problem right there. My brother. You did it slow for like two and a half hours? Okay. Okay. Well, then, what's going to happen right now, everybody, is I am going to close out the stream. I'm going to go grab a shower real quick. And we will start this up in maybe like a 20 minutes or so. I might be able to get maybe like quarter to one. Let's see if we can make it in 15 minutes. I'll try to do a submarine shower and get this going real quick. And then we're just going to get through it, guys. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Anyways, all take it easy, and I will see you all in a few minutes.